Welcome back to Day of the Day. There's a lot of days today, which is why I'm doing it off of my phone. Uh, let's start with all the ones that are specifically the first Friday in March, because there's four... There's a lot of days today. Four different ones that are just the first Friday in March. National Day of Unplugging, you can fuck off. One, I'm running, I, you know, I'm doing media, I kind of need to use the computer. Two, I get bored really easily, I kind of need, need some sort of technology or something. And three, I'm going to an arcade club again and this evening. I'm not, I'm not vlogging for it because I probably won't get back until technically tomorrow. So, which is why I'm doing the video now. National Dress in Blue Day. I went with the darker blue. I have the obviously both of the ones I got, both of the t turtle shirts I got are blue. I went with the lighter blue because I wore the, uh, I wore the light blue a few days ago. Uh, in the last like week or so, and I try, try and change it up a bit more than that. National Speech and Debate Education Day is also the first Friday in March. I think we kind of do need better education for logical arguments. Debate as a structured debate and as a structured thing is a bit stupid. You have one minute to respond. You have one minute to respond. No. Well, oh, fuck off. That's not how arguments work. But how being able to have proper discussions and proper debates and proper arguments, you know, with actual facts and information, or at least beliefs and opinions but also being able to understand and like comprehendingly under being able to comprehend the difference between the two these are things that are probably probably should be taught instead of most of the things that are taught in English classes <laughs> most of the things you're saying writers are, are implying they're not implying they're just trying to tell a fucking story yeah fucking idiots and the last one which is the first Friday in March, National Employee Appreciation Day. I technically don't have any employees at the moment and all the people that I want to be working with aren't actually responding to me trying to organize stuff. So, fuck them. And now for your various days, two, three, four, four, your five days, nine days today, five days that are the 6th of March, National Dentist's Day. Britt Baker is the least interesting character ever and you're not making it any better. Also, the whole her, her uh, breaking or knocking out... Uh, who was it? The the the, ma the magical girl's tooth. That, that was... That, I, like, I, that freaked me out more than like the lashings or any other blood that's happened in that show. That, that, that... I, no, I didn't like that. Again, these th these days keep bringing up wrestling for me because I don't know what else to talk about for all. What else do you want me to talk about with dentists? Possibility of this conspiracy. Yeah, there you go. Dentists are a self fulfilling prophecy. They they put things in your teeth and. No, I'm not going to say that because I, there's going to be someone in the future that finds this video and starts spreading that as an actual conspiracy. People believe flat Earth. People believe that. Fucking hell. National Dress Day. I don't. I didn't. Ha I don't have access to what. That would have been funny, wouldn't it? At least, if not funny, it would have been, it would have been a, it would have been a point to make. Because I, I don't really care. I'm fairly indifferent in the whole thing, but yeah, I didn't, didn't have access to it, and also didn't really want to. Didn't really want to put that effort into, you know, a single bit, really, because I wouldn't be wearing it for the whole video. I don't know. Dresses are nice. I don't know, like, it's up to you. I, I like gendered clothing is stupid, so it's not. It's not that, I just, I don't. National Frozen Food Day. Okay, I don't understand w the human psychology behind this. Uh, which annoys me because I am I am a hobbyist psychologist. Because the human brain, the human, the functionality of the human brain fascinates me. But I don't, I don't understand this. We believe uh, non-frozen food to be fresher even though normally frozen food is so like flash frozen immediately that it stays it is technically fresher especially with like fruit and veg and meat and stuff flash for like these flash frozen these flash frozen foods are generally fresher than the fresh than the the fresh ones but we still see that as being fresh and that being less fresh i, I don't i don't understand national oreo cookie day to celebrate what is maybe one of the greatest cookies. I'm not sponsored to say that. I'd love to be sponsored by Oreo. Hit me up. At least in the base form. 
Okay. Speaking of things I don't understand, Oreo, how does your double stuff, like, the cream and the double stuff goes, like, is always seems to be more solid, less, like, so, like, I almost don't want double stuff just because it's not, like, cream anymore. It's, like, a solid mass of icing, which is not quite the same thing, and it's kind of, kind of just disappointing. And finally, and I, I've just been doing this in order, so I'm kind of, it kind of sucks that I'm finishing on this. National White Chocolate, which is a good start. Cheesecake Day, which is a awful fucking finish. It's a waste of white chocolate, really. I like white chocolate. White chocolate's really nice. I think I've said this before. But I also think I've mentioned before how I don't do cheesecake. Don't like cheesecake. It's not. I, I feel like cheese shouldn't be anywhere near desserts. But it, this is a day that exists. It's also very specific. Why do you have to be so specific? I know there's going to be like a half dozen other cheesecake days as well, which is going to just going to be keep me me continuing to tell you that cheesecake is wrong and awful. It's not a sin in in this religion that I exist in because again I am a god. Do you know what is a sin? Chips and lasagna. Lasagna is already is already it's a meal. It's a full meal in one thing. You don't need chips with it. If you need some side with it. I'll maybe, I'll accept garlic bread. Even though that is also more carb. But, don't, chips and lasagna, what the fuck is wrong with you? If you're more hungry, just have a big bowl of lasagna. One of the, like, I had a really nice, just, you know, big lasagna in the Italian place that we go every time we go to Disneyland. Disney World, sorry. It, it's in Epcot, it's in the Italian pavilion. I can't I think it's Tutu Italia. And we literally went the first time without like not knowing about it it was great and we've now gone every year and it's the only place I, th I think it's the only place we go consistently every well not every year but every time we've been to disney i think that's the only place we've gone consistently i might be wrong about that because my memory is awful it's like i mean planet hollywood was really good and then they did it up between us going and guy fieri ruined everything Anyway, they don't have Villa Cheese Steak anymore, which is really disappointing. We went twice one year, and I like I went through the menu. I spent five minutes like I, I, no, I'm just gonna have the second time. I was like, there's a half a dozen things on here I would want, but I just have to have the cheese steak again. It was that good. They got rid of that, and then all the burgers now are fucking awful because they're designed by Guy Fieri. Because as much as that guy is a great, great TV host and a great meme, he's a ruiner of food apparently. Although I say that, I did want to go chicken, guys. I never got around to it, but I, I did want to go. I don't think there's anywhere else we generally went regularly. I do like the, the new uh, updone Downtown Disney. I still refuse to call it its new name because Disney, Disney Springs is such a shit name. Downtown Disney still works for what you turned it into. I love the fact that they added a big ass uh, Asian restaurant, which we, which we went to on the night we arrived, which you might see some stuff of if I ever edit that vlog for October of last year which I probably won't but I might do but I probably won't but enough of me rambling on about a holiday that happened or various holidays that happened and various other things that come to mind from things that probably are completely irrelevant because I don't even remember where that conversation started I will wrap things up by saying or by telling you to subscribe join the sheep to share the video, to help me grow the flock, and of course, embrace the chaos and change the goddamn world. I will see you tomorrow.